We're rolling. I think we're rolling. Okay, good. So today I want to talk about um, skins. Um, I want to talk about a couple of things about skins. So yeah, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk is champions that don't get skins. Warwick hasn't got a skin for four years, I think, if not more. His last skin is Project Warwick, and it's not even that good. The rest of his skins are just outdated as hell. Like, I'm not saying you should get a full-on visual update, because I don't think there's too much to visually update. His skins, though, yeah. It's so annoying, I guess is the word, where, like, other champions, like, uh, Lux get like a skin every week and a half and Warwick hasn't got skin for years. Orn only has two skins. Um, Ivern got like I think a new skin a while ago and that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> like so many champions do not get skins while others get and that is incredibly unfair. And worse than that is again skins that are outdated. Look at uh, one of my favorite skins, I'm using it right now, is a uh, Rise Whitebeard? Something like that, or Greybeard. And it's good. I like it. I, th I really like the style. I like his rugged look. I like the uh, colors. I like a lot of the stuff they, 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 there is. But it's just outdated. Look at it compared to like other skins in the game. And you'll see how less good it looks. It looks less good. And uh, sure, again, as well with other champions, um, what's his name, Udyr, everything in his is outdated as hell, right? And, and, and uh, Udyr is actually a different problem, where you're like, hey, uh, right, uh, this guy looks terrible, like, his visuals are just terrible. He looks like a Nintendo 64 character, right? I think everyone made that joke already, um, and they're like, okay, cool, buy, buy the ultimate skin, like, but why? Because it's like, oh dear, but it looks better, right? Better visuals. I'm like, what if I don't love the model? What if I prefer normal oh dear? What if I actually want, like, not to waste a shit ton of money on a skin? Like, I just want to play the character, but I don't want it to look terrible. I'm not going to, like, be an oh dear main and now get a skin on him. Only get skins for, like, champions you play a lot. And you want to play, like, sometimes oh dear when he's good, like in the meta, and you're just so disgusted by his look, you're like, aha, buy the ultimate skin, I'm like, I don't want to buy the effing ultimate skin, I don't even like the ultimate skin, like, compared to other ultimate skins you get, like, Lux skin, Elementalist Lux, one of the best skins in the game, conceptually, I don't love the skin because I don't play Lux, but, like, conceptually, it is one of the best skins in the game, if not the best skin in the game. If you get the Seraphine skin, you get three skins in one. Like, uh, there's a Thresh skin, it's not even an ultimate, and he changes forms. That's really neat! That's so cool! And, and right, are like, no, 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 no. Buy the ultimate skin for this guy. And it doesn't even look that good. Like, I played with that skin on PvE, plus a friend of mine has it, so he let me play on his account. Um, just to test it out, right? Um, and like, right? It's not even that much of a good ultimate skin. I actually don't like most of the ultimate skins, but I, I'm not here to talk about ultimate skins, right? Uh, I, that that could be another part, right? Another part is that ultimate skins. If you're gonna make a skin, that costs like a lot of goddamn uh, money, right? And it's really like ultimate. I'm, I'm doing the quote unquote with my hands. Um. Uh, then give us something special. Elementary Slux, stuff like that, the Spirit Blossom and Thresh skin, stuff like that. Stuff that are cool, you want to get the skin because it has an added thing. An a it's not just like a really good skin. I actually don't like Gun God, uh, Gun Goddess Misfortune. I don't like the Ezreal skin. I actually prefer most skins over the Ezreal skin. <laughs> I really don't like it. I just don't think it looks that good. Sometimes too much is not what you want. It, it, again, look at the Greybeard skin for Rise. Sure, it's outdated, but let's say it had like good look, right? Like more of a refined, um, not refined, a better visual, right? And you take that skin. God damn it, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Right, right, right. okay, give me a second. 
and it's simple it's a simplistic skin there's not too much details or too much things going on at once I'm waving my hands around to emphasize that like too much and that usually ruins the skin for me I think simplistic could be done really well sometimes having a, like de small details is really fun like oh my god yeah that really helps the skin stand out and make it better sometimes you they catch it out or you, you right you guess that makes sense and you're like oh my god yes this makes the make it so much better that it has like those small details but I, what I'm trying to say is that this is too much sometimes skins like uh, the uh, knock-on goddess the Ezreal one like has too much too much and, and like no that's, that's not how it works that's that, no uh, maybe some people like it for me it's not for me it's like give me something simplistic but good done well it give it like fun uh it, look right again the, the rice skin it's one of my favorite because it's so simple yet it works so well the effect is really simple just give him some rough clothes some like old boots uh, some wands and it's very simple there's not too much going on but the stuff there are there are really good and the small details really add so th that's the second thing and um, so that's uh, the third thing is um, is when Riot makes like a skin and then makes an updated skin which is very similar but better obviously uh, take for example um, give me a second I'll pull it up I'll try to Okay, so um, he, here I am now. Uh, I put up the um, images. This is the Whistler Village um, uh, um, Twitch skin versus the Ice King Twitch skin, right? Uh, Whistler Village is an older, less good skin, right? As you can see, uh, I don't know if it looks that well, but you can Google it up and you can see all the images for yourself. Or go into the game, go into PB, test out the skins for yourself. Um, and that's the ice king, right? So the Whistler Village is an older, less up, less uh, upda updated skin, and it looks bad, right? In game, if you have it, I do. Uh, it looks that bad. it looks kind of bad. I, uh, it, it's okay. It's not the worst skin. I actually really like it. The, the um, splash art looks really well. And uh, if you'd ask me which one I'd prefer, I'd say I'll tell you the Whistler Villager skin. The problem is. There's no uh, better animations. The Ice King gets better, newer animations. Whistler Village doesn't. Uh, it gets the same animations as normal Twitch, even though it also makes sense that it would also be like ice-based, snow-based um, animations, but it doesn't. So if you're like, uh, well, um, aren't I supposed to like choose which one I prefer? And I'm like, no, 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 buy the newer one. I'm like, but why? Wouldn't it make much more sense for me to choose which one I'd like? No, no, buy the newer one. I'm like, but what if I don't like the newer one? Conceptually, it looks less well, if you ask me. Like, not conceptually, sorry. It looks less well. I don't like the um, uh, long mouth, weird body shape. I, I, just, I don't like it. I, I don't like it. It's also another one of those skins that too much. And I'm like, no, no, I prefer the simpler. Give me the... Icy, uh, snowy, snowy, not icy, snowy, white, twitch skin look like. I'm like, yes, yes, please, G give me that, right? I have like a weird tail, uh, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, if you'd ask me which one I'd prefer, I'd tell you the Whistler Village. But the problem is, it doesn't get better animation. It looks worse in game. It doesn't even look that well. It looks gray and not white and pure and. Right? That, that, that makes sense. And I don't think this is the only time they do this. Instead of updating the old skin, they just make us a, a newer skin that's kind of like that, but better. And I'm like, why? Why do that? <laughs> like, okay, I get it. If you want to make more skins that are similar but different, I'm like, okay, go for it. That's actually kind of cool, so you get to choose which one you prefer. If you're like, oh my god, the skin could have worked conceptually, but I don't like this and this and this and this, and there's another skin that's very similar, and like, wait, I like this better. But again, they're like, buy the newer skin. Why, Riot? Why you gotta do this like that? Uh, then the last thing I want to talk about, and I don't know, maybe I have more to say, um, and that is um, 
the types of skin that Riot makes. A lot of these are very similar skins. You don't get too many surprises in, right? You don't get too many skins that you're like, oh my god, this is sick. Okay, uh, for example, let's look at Smite. I, I use this a lot, for example, because I think what they do, what um, high res are doing, is actually what I'd really like to see Riot also doing in more than just one scenario, which is why I bring this a lot. I still like League of Legends more, just because it, for me it's a bit more fun. Like, uh, but I think it's a better game. It, it's better managed, it's a better game, and uh, I just like League of Legends more. I don't know why, I just have more fun playing it. Um, but uh, let's not talk about that. I want to talk about the skins they make. They make a lot of really cool skins. They, they Sometimes they get like really cool uh, looking eye visual skins, right, and, and stuff like that. But then there's, they also make like a lot of funny, really meme skins, and I'm like, yes, please, more of that. They made the uh, crab rave, you know the the song crab rave, the do 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 do, right? Crab rave. <laughs> they made like a skin for one of the champions that is like a crab, so it's a crab rave and he does the dance and that's really cool <laughs> like if i play the character i'd probably be all over that skin um and they have a lot of really funny skins as well as some really good skins um and i really wish ride would also do that it kind of does that there's kind of but like a lot of the newer skins um are very um not similar but um I don't want to say weeb, but like, yeah, kind of appeals to the weeb uh, player base, which I get it, it's a high player base, but not all skins need to be Battle Academia, Star Guardian, and stuff like that. These are actually my least favorite skins in the game, and one of my friends really agrees with me. We're just not weebs, right? I, I watch some anime, I don't really love it, I, I have nothing against anime, uh, really, uh, I like the art style. I love the art style. I think uh, the art style is probably the best part of watching an anime. And the visual comedy is almost always superb. My problem is just that a lot of animes feel like they have to hit the anime tropes. And that's not that interesting. And anyway, I don't want to talk about anime. I'm not a weeb. I don't love anime. I don't uh, watch like too many animes. I watch some. Um, not like a complete, no, all weeb is bad, Uh no, 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 I watch some anime, I'm just not, like, a massive anime lover, right? And I just don't like these skins, I don't like Star Guardian skins, I know, <laughs> it's so weird, like, so many people say that's the best skin line in the game, I, I don't like it. I also like the KDA skins line, and, uh, uh, I don't like it. I, I'm sorry. Like, okay, the KDA skin like actually has some really cool skins, Ted, and I usually like it for the visual part. Like, uh, I have the um, true damage, um, the, the new true damage one for Kaisa. I don't know what's called. All out, all out. And for Kaisa, and not because I like the skin how it looks. Like, it's okay, but I love the visual part of the skin. I think it's so cool. Like, the animations are really good. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want, I just want to edge Riot to experiment. Experiment with different styles of skins. They're not making the Sentinel skins and that's pretty cool. I don't know, it's kind of like, it, it, it got that 80s <laughs> vibe to it, some skins, and I'm like, yes, that's pretty really neat. Unfortunately, I don't play any of the characters that have the skins, and the only one that I do actually play, which is Olaf, I don't like the Sentinel skin for him. Um, but yeah, uh, it, uh, I'm like, oh, alright, I, I edge you to try different skin styles, different ideas, different skin lines. What if there was an elementalist skin line, just like the elementalist Lux, right? Maybe not as good, because I don't really want to spend 3,200 um, RP points on a skin. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, go out. If you want to make all of them like really expensive, really good like Elementalist Lux skins, I I'm all for it. To be fair, if there was a champion I played, I'd probably buy the skin. 
even though it's a lot of money, if there was a champion I played that had like an elementalist style skin mod, specifically the same as elementalist lux, but the same style that you could choose different like looks and they mix together and change and like stuff like that, that is so cool to me. I'm like, yes, make a skin line out of that, make a full event out of that, and <laughs> that could be really cool. Um, I also want to talk about prestige skins. Because I don't like prestige skins. For the most part, a lot of them feel less good than the original. Um, for, for some of them, it's just the same, but it's gold. And I'm like, cool, that's not something that is worth the effort that you put into getting a prestige skin. Or the money that you put into getting a prestige skin, whichever you choose. And uh, that's a problem. Like, if you remember the bewitching um, misfortune skin. It's the same, but gold. Now they starting to more experiment with the idea, and like True Damage Senna, uh, Prestige skin looks really different to True Damage Senna, and I love the Prestige one. Like I love the Prestige one. I think maybe next uh, event I might even get it. Um, get the pass, get the skin. Like I actually really like what they're doing with it. Prestige uh, Jax, the Conqueror Prestige Edition Jax is one of the best pre prestige skins I have ever seen. It's so cool. I like that it's not just the original but with gold. Um, it's kind of like that, I guess to be fair. It's more similar than uh, something like True Damage Senna Prestige Edition, which is like com almost completely different. Like A lot of it has changed, uh, but it looks so sick. It has better animation, it looks so cool, like gold and green, for some reason, go so well together. And I really feel like the skin, right, but a lot of times I don't like the prestige skins. And there's even times where I think it's less good than the original. Um, so I think if Ryan wants to continue doing prestige skins, they should look more to like True Damage Senna and uh, Conqueror Jax. Uh, don't just make it gold and like say okay this is it. Give it anim better animations, cooler animations, gold themed a animations uh, per se, and maybe even give it some differences than the original. Uh, I like Conqueror Jax, but the Prestige Edition looks so cool, and I, I don't know why that is. Um, when a lot of other Prestige skins don't look that better to me. Like, I don't hate the Prestige skins, uh, a lot of the um, uh, older ones I really don't like, um, even though there are a lot of good ones, right? I, I don't think, to be fair though, I don't think Riot messed up with a lot of these, I think just some of these are a bit, like, uh, uh, you like, it's not worth the effort. But then the ones that are worth the effort are so good. Uh, and the last problem with prestige skins, that's the bigger one, is that it's really unfair. If you look at the last prestige, uh, 2021 prestige skins, at least the one you can get with the points, I know there are more and I want to look at those, but I cannot remember from the top of my head who got uh, a lot and who, get, who got like which skins. So, um... I'll add this out um, after. Uh, and so, um, right now, there's... Uh, give me a second. I'll pull up League of Legends on my other monitor. And I'll look at the skins really quickly. Okay. You got Zoe Leona, Prestige Jax, which I talked about. Zyra. I've never seen anyone use this. The Z1. Uh, Soraka, Yasuo, and Senna. You notice something off the bat. There is one ADC skin. And it's Senna, which is not an ADC. Kinda. She is an ADC. I don't want to talk about Sarah. Um, there's two supports. Three, if you consider Zyra. There's one. There's two. There's three mid laners and there's one top laner. What happened to Jungle? What happened to Bruisers? Like Jax is not really a Bruiser. <laughs> there's Zed. This is so unfair. Like champions that get a prestige kid. This is so unfair. And if I look at other. If I know there's a way to do this. Give me a second. Uh, I have to look at all, and then by release date, show unknown. Okay, so now I can see all Prestige Edition skins that were released. 
There's the Prestige Silas. Again, another mid laner. Um, give me a second. There's Wasn't there a Prestige uh, in the Space Groove event? It was. Which one was it? I don't remember. I really don't remember. And does it even show prestige skins? Okay, it does. It doesn't show prestige skins. Why does it not show me the prestige skins? Uh Okay, I I don't see all prestige skins. I don't know why. God damn it. Uh, there was Space Groove Lulu, right? That was the um, prestige one. And um, Diona had a prestige skin. And I think there was another prestige skin. Like, I think maybe uh, Caitlyn. And and you see the, you see the trend. Anyway, I don't want to go to too many of these. But you see the trend, right? Um, if you notice it, it's the really, really popular champions. And again, that's unfair, Riot. That is incredibly unfair. I know that it's supposed to sell money, and I get it. The game needs to sell money, and I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But please, like, there is some unpopular champions, not really that unpopular, but like, some champions really don't get enough love, and seriously, the game needs to be a bit more fair. I, I know, I know it's supposed to sell money, and I know that, um, that makes sense um, business wise and I'm not mad. I'm really not a lot of people are and I'm not I get it I get that there's a, a business decision behind um, every decision right I get it I absolutely get it but like it's incredibly unfair um <laughs> so yeah uh, 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 it's unfair to me and the last, the last thing, here's the really, really last thing I want to talk about, and that is more special skins, like the prestige skins. Um, what about those more special skins? Again, Smite has like diamond skins, which are really cool. I think they could be a better if like you could buy the diamond skins. If there was like an upgrade to the diamond skins, which also like gives it like um, visuals or something. I don't want to talk about Smite. Anyway, uh, there's like diamond skins, and then there's like. Um, there's a lot of really cool um, special skins. There's uh, limited skins, unlimited skins, chibi skins. There's a lot of really cool skins, and that I think Riot could also make into like special skins. Again, like the prestige skins, um, and the uh, extec um, gemstones. Those are the two. I, I have not met too many people who were excited for the gemstone skins. Like, they're usually not that great. To be fair, so yeah, m more like that. More special, like limited skins, not like fully limited. Uh, I don't know if I like that, because uh, they're like, haha, get it now, or you'll never be able to get it. I don't like that. I, I feel it's a bit too manipulative. Not that I mind. I actually kind of like that. Like, if you have like a limited skin, it's really funny to go up to people and say, haha, I got a limited skin, and you don't, right? Um, not the braggy type, but. Kinda I am okay. I, I'm kind of I kind of am, but like, um, uh, more special skin lines. What if there were diamond skins? What if there was like, uh, other special skins? Really, Ryan needs to figure out what they want to do with this. Obviously, I can't. Like, right? So, yeah. Uh, this is this is one I want to talk about. I wanted to talk about skins. So. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to add. Talked about chromas. I talked about more special skins. I talked about how unfair skins are, and and I talked about like updated and outdated skins. And the video is almost ending, so yeah, let's. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.